I, I'm going to lower my voice so you won't think I'm angry. Tell me now, how many churches have you visited recently? How, how many churches do you know? Well, when you walk in, the Holy Ghost is so strong that every one of your sins are brought up before your face. In the loving grace of God. How many churches have you been lately where you hear a word comes forth that so burns in your soul? You know it comes from heaven. You know it comes from the heart of God. I hope you hear it here. The truth of the matter is, in all honesty, there are numbers among us that are changing and they don't know it. You've lost your fight. You see, when you, when you read the book of Joshua, it's almost a book of failure because they lost their heart. They lost the fight. You see, when spiritual blindness comes, very few recognize it. It's the last recognized thing that happens to a child of God. If I, as a pastor, knew you personally, and I was watching your life, and as one of the pastors of this church, I come to you and say, I, I, I love you, but I have to tell you the truth. You're changing. You know what you were. Something of the world has got in your heart. I don't know if it's television. I don't know what it is that has your heart, but I see changes in you. I, I don't see the brokenness. I don't see the compassion you had once for your family. I don't see concern for your unsafe loved ones. You're changing. Little by little, something's happening to you. Would it bring you to your knees when the ruin that you are not even aware of is suddenly brought before your eyes? Did you just let that go in one ear out the other? When a pastor tells you right now, hey, and I don't know who you are, but the Holy Ghost is speaking through me. You're changing. Little by little, you're losing the love of God, the love of Christ. Little by little, these things are making inroads. Folks, why do you think your pastors cry out against television? Do you think we get any pleasure out of the flesh? There's no pleasure in somebody coming and saying, I heard your message and I threw away my television. That doesn't give me any pleasure. It doesn't give any pastor pleasure. We have given account because we watch for your soul. Does it really matter to you that your unsaved loved ones are dying and we're getting closer and closer to the end? It, it, uh, does it really concern you? They could die and go to hell. Even though you're a lover of Christ where's the morning Where, where's the fasting I'm talking about the body of Jesus Christ in general you're changing where's the getting up in the middle of the night where's the confessing I'm tired of hearing about people in the church who say they want their unsaved loved one saved I'm tired of hearing people say I'm concerned about my troubled marriage we just just talk for we obey not his voice away with all of our how-to conferences because they accomplish nothing it's how to cope how to build a bigger church how to reach the lost how to improve your people's skills and how to impact the world in this computer time it's flesh you're changing. If you are expecting somebody else to be an instrument to win your family or to do this work, you're mistaken. You're changing. You either walk away and go back to your passivity and say, I'm just going to be an ordinary Christian and there's no such thing. Or you begin to seek his face. You allow him to melt and break you. You go down deep in the soul and say, Oh God, I can't do this on my own. But I'm not going to let my kids go to hell. I'm not going to let my husband, my wife. Oh God, 
I'm not going to live in this death. I'm not going to live in this lukewarmness and this coldness anymore. God, change me. And when you get desperate before God, you set your heart to seek Him. You allow God to lead you into this place beyond fleeting emotion. You say, God, I'm going to set my heart. Oh, God. This is my burden.